Guys, Jonte Porter has received a lifetime ban from the NBA for violating gambling rules. Oh my God. If you guys have not been following the story, Michael Porter Jr.'s younger brother, he got caught, you know, allegedly, I don't want to get in trouble because I don't know if this could go to court or anything, but the reports have said he uh, was wagering like one to three million dollars, supposedly not on NBA and college basketball, but there was huge flag, red flags shown when Mr. John T. Porter's prop bets between like a week span were the highest earning prop bets of any like bet across multiple sports books. And it's, this is serious. It's insane to think about because I, dude, the, like this is some stuff that we haven't seen in the NBA, like Adam Silver said a week ago, I'll probably keep the, uh, include the reporting that we did previously, but Adam Silver said it was the cardinal sin. And that's the whole thing right here. You're dealing with something that the NBA can never have associated with itself, that basketball has done so much for trying to keep itself from being associated with. So the NBA has banned Jonte Porter for life. A league investigation found that Porter violated rules by disclosing confidential information to sports better betters limiting his own participation in one or more games for betting purposes and betting on NBA games. The report reads as of what we're reading right now is the league investigation found that Porter prior like, dude, this is some deep. So the NBA announced that John Zay Porter has released a lifetime ban. The NBA found prior to the March 20th game Porter disclosed confidential information about his own health status to an individual that knew to be an NBA better. Another individual with whom Porter's an associated knew who's also an NBA better so placed a $80,000 parlay proposition bet on an online sports book to win $1.1 million wagering that Porter would underperform in the March 20th game. The league investigation also found that Porter limited his own game participation to influence the outcome of one or more bets on his performance in at least one Raptors game. In March 20th, Porter played three minutes, claiming that he fell ill due to unusual betting activities with the action of the player. The $80,000 prop bet was not paid out. In addition, through January to March 2024, while traveling with the Raptors and the or the Raptors 905, the G League affiliate of the Raptors, Porter placed 13 bets on NBA games using an associate online betting account. The bets range between $15 to $22,000 for a total of $54,094. The total bets um, paid out a $76,059 and three of the bets were parlays the suspicious bets were flagged by betting services and your boy got caught wow 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 this is something that crazy crazy because it's the cardinal sin and i just don't know how you move forward, but I want to hear everybody's thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think? And how mind blown are you guys? And dude, a lot of stuff is going to happen in the NBA. Well, yeah, I'm going to head out. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe.